kind of getting your feet wet more and more. What's what's it been like now that you've seen sort of some snaps out there? How, how's the game look for you? Yeah, uh, it's been super fun, obviously, to go on the field to play. Um, every opportunity to play is just awesome. Um, but I think it's just good. Every single snap, you learn a lot in college football and just getting adjusted to the speed and physicality. But I think I'm just learning a lot, which is the main thing, which is super awesome. How do you feel game conditioning wise, like this hanging in there, stamping on all that stuff? Yeah, it feels good. Um, I think, yeah, it's good. They, they did a good job getting us prepared in like fall camp and stuff. So I feel feeling good. For you, do you feel like that's something that's improving week to week? Yeah, I think just, just in general, just. You know, football knowledge, um, you know, strength, speed. Yeah, I think it's definitely getting better week to week for me, just just because it's been a little bit. Um, but yeah, definitely week to week's getting better. You always hear about the, the speed difference being the biggest thing between high school and, and college. At tight end, is there a certain aspect to that where it really sort of shows up? Uh, I, I would say the biggest difference at tight end um, from high school to college is just the physicality of the of the D line, um, blocking D lineman is it's, it's fun, but it's definitely it's way more physical. You know, you're going against guys who are significantly bigger and um, all the best in the world in the conference we're playing. So definitely, that's the biggest difference so far for me. Any moment you had early on in that regard where you were like, "Whoa, like, these oh, guys are big." I mean, just practice. Like I remember my first like pad of practice going against you know Anthony Lucas and. You know, Braylon Shelby, these guys. Uh, I'm like, well, okay, this is this is the speed and physicality we have to play at. So it's definitely crazy. What are some of the biggest things that stood out to you on this past game versus you know, the past this season? Um, as far as like some of the things that stood out, I mean, the blocking, you know, you know, the catching. Um, the yeah, I mean, I think we, as a team, just. You know, we, we did a lot of things well and we still have a lot to improve on. Um, and all the tight ends, I think we, we did our job um, well. We played physical and we played fast and you know, there's always room for improvement. But I think just with uh, me and Cade and tight ends, I think we're just continuing to get better and we have a pretty um, tight, tight-knit tight group that we're just pushing each other. And every single week, I think we just kind of get better and better. And obviously we're young right now, but it's super, super enjoyable. After Lake went down, was there what sort of message was, was given to you in terms of stepping up and um, potential opportunities? I don't, yeah, I don't think there was like a necessarily like a message. I, I think it was just, you know, we prepare to, to try and be ready at all circumstances. And obviously, um, you know, I'm getting an opportunity early and so I'm just trying to make the most out of it. But I think just, just doing as much as I can, trying to be as prepared as possible, work as much as I can. What's have the biggest seen? way things have slowed down for you from your first game to this last one? Um, I think just I'm feeling a little bit more confident just, in, just like running. Or, uh, just, you know, just feeling more the speed more. And I think from, you know, Utah State to, to now, it's just the speed. I feel like I've gotten a lot more just to in the physicality as well. Have you seen Lake adjust to another adversity that he's going through? Uh, Lake is awesome. I mean, he's handling it so well. He's still involved in all of our meetings. He's still at practice here with us every day. He's still at lifts with us at 5.30, 6 in the morning. So he hasn't, you know, he hasn't stepped the, stepped the foot off the gas at all. He's he's still working hard, and he's going to be back soon. He'll, he'll be ready to go. So. Has he given you any advice over the past week or so? Oh, yeah, tons of advice. I mean, since I've gotten here, he's given me tons of advice. He's been like a mentor, somebody who's helped me out. Just such a good guy, such good character. and. Honestly, one of the leaders of this team, so it was so sad to see him um, go down, but you know, he'll be back soon, so it'll be good. Does it surprise you at all just how much of an opportunity you've been able to, to, to get here in kind of the passing game and your um, I don't, I don't know if it's surprising. Um, I think it's I think it's just a good opportunity. Um, I mean, I don't really expect anything. I think I just kind of came in with the mindset of just working and whatever comes will come. And, I think that's kind of what I've just been doing. So it's been awesome to see, um, to have some, some plays go my way. And obviously there's so much to improve on still. Let's do one more. Yeah. We haven't seen just a ton of receiving production from tight ends with Lincoln here. What what was the draw? All of a sudden there, there's kind of tight ends everywhere now. What's the draw to, to play tight end in his offense? Um, I think our offense as a whole, we have just so many playmakers all around. Um, and I think we're a really good job. We do a really good job of just kind of playing for each other and not really playing for individual accolades. Um, and so, you know, some games, you know, maybe they'll 
a lot of the majority of the pass will come to us. Other games, maybe we'll go with receivers or running backs. But I think we all just kind of complement each other. And when it's our, when it comes our way, we try to do our best to make the play. And when it doesn't, um, we, we're cheering on our guys. But I think just the draw with the coach Riley is just the history. I mean, he's produced. He's helped a lot of guys go to the league, and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon.